Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea, and I hope I find you well and that you've had a fantastic day. So right guys, just before I start, I just wanted to remind you, you know, if you like the videos and you want to see some more of my wee videos popping up in your feed, make sure to subscribe before you leave and also hit the wee bell button, that way you'll be notified whenever I pop anything new up. Right guys, so on with today's video, and today I'm going to be making an ultra simple scotch broth. Today I'm going to be using the slow cooker but you can of course just use the stove top if you don't have a slow cooker or you're a bit pressed for time but I recommend doing it in the slow cooker it's just so much nicer. It'll take about six, between six and eight hours in a slow cooker which is great you know if you've got a lot to do or you've got a lot of running about to do you can just walk away and forget about it or it'll take around two hours on the stove top if you're going to do it that way. But guys, if you're going to do it in the, the stove top, you're going to have to soak your peas for at least five hours, ideally overnight. But if you're using the slow cooker, you can just throw them straight in. Right guys, so this is what you're going to need if you want to give it a go. First of all, you're going to need 120 grams of dried peas, 100 grams of pearl barley, three and a half pints of lamb or mutton stock, 250 grams of diced carrots, 250 grams of diced turnip, one large onion or two medium onions diced. And you can also add things like, you can add a leek if you want to add a leek or celery, but I just like to do it this way. I like it quite simple. And you'll also need some salt and pepper to suit yourself. Right guys, so let's move on and we'll see what we do next. So first thing you want to do guys is get your slow cooker onto high and to that you want to start adding your stock. I mean if you don't like lamb stock you can add vegetable or chicken, it's just traditionally it would be made with lamb or mutton stock just to give it that sort of lamb flavour. So you want it about three, quarter, three quarters of the way up your dish and you want to drop in your peas. and then pop your barley in and just give it a wee stir round. Right guys, next thing you want to do is just pop in your chopped up carrots and your turnip in there as well and then add your onions. Then you want to go ahead and add enough salt and pepper to your taste. Literally just throw it in. Oh my goodness, I had to fish that out. <laughs> oh dear. I could have taken it out but I thought it was quite funny. Now you just want to pop your lid on guys. This will take about eight hours. So this is me at half past one this afternoon. Bearing in mind it's been on since nine o'clock or just after nine. And this is me checking back at half past three. It's starting to thicken up a wee bit now as you can see. And this is us at five o'clock, guys. Now it's just about there. You can see the barley is all puffed up and your peas are nicely swollen and starting to break down out their shells a wee bit. Not quite there, but just about. This smells amazing, guys. And despite the appearance, it's, a it's actually quite a light soup. You know, it's not too heavy. This is us ready guys, this is six o'clock. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. You'll know when it's ready when your peas are soft guys and your barley has opened up and is soft. It's lovely, it's got a nice waxy texture. So you just want to pop that into your bowl guys. As much broth as you like, as much uh, you know of the vegetables as you like. So that's it guys, plain and simple and absolutely delicious. I'm just going to leave you with some uh, wee pictures of my wee man. This is my wee cat, Jasper, instead of your usual scenery pictures. He's a wee, he's a wee smasher, he's absolutely lovely. So thank you again guys for popping by and until the next one, take care and I'll see you later. Bye for now.